Nicole, thank you for your coverage this evening. Now we go over to Slocum Hall with our reporter Luke Welch. Luke, what's happening here on campus? Yeah, Maddie, well, uh, it was just a half an hour ago where the conclusion of an SU-sponsored panel happened here on campus and addressing the rise of anti-trans legislation around our country. Now, the panel that was sponsored by SU referenced how SU and the Barnes Center at the Arch are focused on creating a supportive environment for transgender students as well and continue to offer transgender-affirming health care. Now, this can include procedures, and over 70 students at SU and ESF actually receive transgender-affirming health care from the Barnes Center at the Arch. And again, as I said, this could include procedures, but as well as name and pronoun changing assistance, binders for those who are born female, as well as free therapy clinics offered by marriage and family therapy grad students. One message that the panel um, emphasized was building community and a question that they opposed to students and staff was how are your thoughts and feelings affecting others? Are you welcoming and are your feelings and beliefs more important than the safety and feelings of other students? Guys. Saying about events like the one at Drumlins this evening. Well, they found it ironic, Maddie, because they, uh, this event that's supposed to be supporting transgender students is happening right before an event that's supposed to be, honestly, not supporting transgender students and talking about the rhetoric and the gender-affirming health care that they are receiving and bashing that. So we talked to one student who praised the event that happened tonight in here in Slocum Hall and scrutinized the event that happened over near South Campus and Drumlin's Country Club. And uh, gender affirming healthcare has been life saving for me. It really does save lives. Um, and so to have a community on campus that thinks it's okay to go against like my real lived experience and the experience of so many other trans people is really disheartening. It's frankly disgusting. Luke, how have other colleges across the country handled conversations about these controversial issues? Well, we've seen in states that are actually putting forth this anti-trans legislation, Miami University in Ohio is making initiatives to support the mental health of transgender students. In North Carolina, Governor Roy Cooper is working with Elon University to ensure the safety of transgender athletes, as well as continuing to support those transitioning in a college setting. In Kentucky, rallies and protests are on the rise in the University of Louisville after a transphobic events are happening after the um, state bill that was passed banning um, gender affirming health care for those who are under the age of 18, which is such a crucial time um, in terms of puberty and transitioning. Here on the Hill, Vice President Mary Grace Almondrez stated in, earlier in the year that the university remains committed to making our campus a place where all feel welcomed and valued, and our office is proud to lead this effort with our campus partners. We will have continued coverage of events and protests that are happening here on campus, but for now, reporting in Slocum Hall, I'm Luke Welch. Maddie, Jesse, back to you.